Yo ho ho! Hello and welcome to Bosch TV. My name is Ian Theesby. This, yo then, this is Henry Firth, and together we form Bosch. And today, as we have been doing all week, we are going to be cooking something very, very, very delicious. Something that will tickle your sweet tooth. Look, that is what we're making. This. Oh my goodness! This here, right? And you're probably thinking, what the? What on earth is this wonderful gold brown bananary morsel that you have on the desk? Well, I'll tell you right now. It is a banana bread blondie and it is from our second cookbook, Bish. Bash. Bosh. Yes. That looks incredible. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? I must say. I mean, I have to wonder how you're going to get through this in... 25 minutes. 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Well, basically, it's quite a, um, it's quite easy, but we do have to crack on because there's about three separate stages. So what I'm going to do is put this to one side so we've got a nice clean top shot. And now's probably a good time to tell them that they can chat to us, isn't it? Absolutely. So if you have a look in my ear, I have the AirPod in. That is because we're uh, connected to producer Kathy. In fact, I'll take that one out, make my life easier. <laughs> Producer Kathy is in our ear. She is hanging out with you all on Facebook and YouTube. So pop in your questions. If you've got any questions along the way or towards the end, we will answer them if we can. And now let's sit back, and well, you sit back and enjoy Bosch Live. Yes, it's going to be good. If you're cooking along with us, which we hope you are, please head over to the oven and turn it on. 180 degrees Celsius is the temperature you're after. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make these taste amazing. These are almonds. They have just been sat in a plastic packet. So what we need to do now is to eke out all of the flavor. And the best way to do that is to roast them for eight to 10 minutes. So we put them on our baking tray. I'm gonna send these over to the oven right now. And these are in there for eight to 10 minutes. Absolutely lovely. So it's so nice to be hanging out with you again. This is Thursday. It's kind of like a Friday because in the UK it's a bank holiday, which means we don't have to work tomorrow. Um, so hopefully you'll be having some fun for your kind of extra long weekend. We're going to be here hanging out with you, cooking this, and we've got an extra special bank holiday surprise later on, which is if any of you have enjoyed our Bosch Live with us where we play some tunes, we will be doing that again tonight over on Twitch. More details about that to come, but you'll be pleased to know we are also doing Bosch Live tomorrow. So we will be cooking with you Friday night as well. Oh yes, and I can't wait for Bosch Lounge. It's gonna be amazing. That's what we're calling it. It's just Henry and I yes. DJing for you guys for a couple of hours. It's gonna be wicked. Anyway, look what I've got here. So this is um, the almonds, or some almonds that I made earlier on. And as you can see, I've bashed them up with a pestle and mortar, or you can do it with the end of a rolling pin. But it's important that you smash them up nice and good. Okay, I'm gonna put these to one side. And what we're gonna do now is crack on with our wet ingredients. And the first wet ingredient are these. Look at them. These are very ripe bananas. So I'm gonna peel these off. Let me just show you a little technique for peeling banana. Boom, so like, look, here is the banana. Most people go for this end, but if you go for that end, it means it's a lot easier. That's how a monkey does it. Um, and it means that all those stringy bits are left in the peel. How good is that? Amazing technique. That's a good why, technique. Why does a monkey do it that way? Well, because if you think about how a banana, let me just put that for, for that top shot. Sorry, if a banana, right, grows like this on a big bunch, it doesn't grow downward, so it makes sense for the peel to come off that way. So I'm going to do it for this one as well. Peel off nicely. This is a perfectly ripe banana. <laughs> super ripe. It's like super sweet. You can just, you can just tell. Right. So three, two, one. There we go. That is our uh, banana. Now, very simple implement you're going to need is a fork. So what we're going to do is mash this banana. Okay. And we're just going to give it a good old mash until it's kind of um, almost, well, not completely liquid, but a damn sight more mashed than not. It's good. The mashing guess, technique is decent here. It's worth saying at this point that well, this is basically the replacement egg. So yep. um, obviously everything we do is plant-based, it is vegan. So in this recipe, this banana is acting as a binding agent, pulling everything together. Yeah, so that's a very good way to describe what we're doing here. And if you check this out, right, if you were probably around six to seven months old, you'd look at that and go, mmm, dinner. 
It looks absolutely lovely <laughs> I mean, for a baby. Like this is like, yes, this is exactly what a baby wants. You mush that banana up and you eat that baby. Yeah. All right, here we go. Right, so that is our mashed banana. It, just check it out again, top cam. Let's have top a look cam, at this. Top cam, top cam. So, right, so what we've got here, I've left a little bit of texture um, because to have a little bit of banana texture in a banana bread blondie is no bad thing. So what I'm gonna do now is add six tablespoons of maple syrup. Oh man, maple syrup is so good. Do you want to tell the people where the maple syrup comes from? They probably know already. 80% oh, of maple syrup comes from Quebec in Canada. Canada, and it comes from the maple tree. Who would have thought? It's like tree snot. A tree snot, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, and here we go. We've got some vegetable oil. You could use sunflower oil. Um, or, I think, do you know what would be amazing here? You could use melted coconut oil. But what we've got is what we'll do. And there it goes. It goes in there nicely. And the next thing, on this magical baking mystery tour. Do you want to give that a quick sniff? Oh, blah, 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 mildly, blah, 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 mildly alcoholic vanilla extract. So it's going in, boomer, right? There we are, lovely. And, and I'm gonna rattle through because I'm wary of the time. So what we've got here is some oat milk, but you can use any plant-based milk that you so wish. And if you want all of the actual um, full measurements, you can find them on Bosch.tv. Uh, I just had a couple of uh, nice pointers from Kathy. So the first one is uh, vanilla essence is actually 35% alcohol. Is it? God so, It's like vodka. <laughs> you can probably drink it. You get um, I'm not sure it would be a good thing to drink though. And a few people are asking the question about what could be done uh, with those banana skins. Uh, banana skins, you can make bacon out of banana skins, yes ladies and gentlemen, that's right. You can get your banana skins, you can put a little bit of maple syrup on it, you can put some cornstarch on it, you can roast it off for around about 15 minutes and what comes out is basically bacon. Wow, banana skin bacon. Banana skin bacon, it's bonkers. Or pulled pork would work. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. see why not. Or, or yeah. lardons. Yeah. Yeah, anything like that, any porky vibes. So check this out. This is peanut butter. I've gone for smooth. You could go for crunchy. We went for the good stuff that hasn't got any added sugar or palm oil. And what we're going to do now is pop three quarters of this in that bowl. Okay, so I'm just going to come in with my spoon. And hopefully that will just, for the purpose of the video, slide off the spoon. It did it nicely eventually. <laughs> I think it does the job. Okay, right. So that peanut butter is to one side. I'm back in shot. I've got a fork and I'm going to mix this up. Okay, now it might take a little bit of time, but you know what? It's fine. You know, it's Thursday night. You haven't got work tomorrow. You can chill with us for a little bit. But I'm going to take our time. We're having a good, good old laugh. I mean, this is kind of work for us. Yeah. But it's the most cool thing to get to do ever. To I mean, just hang out with you lot and cook. We love cooking. Yeah. So it doesn't really feel like work, but we will be doing this again tomorrow. That's yeah. For sure. Um, so, it, like, okay, so obviously we've been doing Bosch Lives for a little while now. If it's the first time you've joined us, welcome, thank you very much for coming. Um, <clears throat> we, this is the fourth day in Cake Week, right? And you might wonder, why on earth are you doing Cake Week? Why are we doing Cake Week? <laughs> oh yeah, well I'll tell you why we're doing Cake Week. We're doing Cake Week because um, on Monday something quite exciting happened, didn't it? It certainly did. We launched our own line of Bosch Cakes. Um, in UK supermarket Tesco. Uh, it may be going to other supermarkets soon as well. So you can now buy a Boss lemon cake and a Boss chocolate cake, which is absolutely incredible. They're vegan and they're only £3.50. And we took the bold decision of putting the word moist on the front of it. So you're going to love that. Woohoo! Moist. moist. Uh, yeah, I like the word moist. It's kind of <laughs> cool. Right, anyway, uh, let, uh, let's go back down to Top Gun. Let's have a look at this. Right, so that is the consistency that, that we are after. It's very liquidy, it's got a little bit of lumpiness, but that's perfect for texture. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna swap these two bowls around so you guys can now see the dry ingredients going into this bowl. Look at that, perfect. That's Look lovely. at that rim. Beautiful. Oh, this camera is beautiful. Lovely. Very good. Okay, so I've got caster sugar here, okay? I'm gonna go straight in with that. It's 80 grams of caster sugar, if I remember correctly. Then we have got some plain flour. Now plain flour, I went to the supermarket a couple of days ago and it's becoming a lot more readily available. So um, hopefully you guys have found that too. 250 grams. 250, 250 grams um, of, of plain flour right there. And straight up, next up, we got a little bit of salt 
And then we've got both um, baking, baking powder and bicarbonate of soda. Now, it, from the top cam shot, Check this out. This is arguably the most boring bowl in the world. <laughs> it's just a big bowl of boring white powder. So apologies for that. It's maybe not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. And this is the bicarbonate of soda and it's going in. Right, and we want to mix up all of those dry ingredients together. And I found that the best utensil to do that with is this. This is a whisk, hand whisk. And as noticed, it's kind of like firm on the bottom. It's rather than like floppy. So it's, it's, it's a nice firm whisk. So I'm just gonna pop that in. And we're just going to mix that around nicely, just to make sure that all those dry ingredients have come together and there's no sort of like odd separation. I always knew you were a sort of whisk taker. I'm a whisk taker. <laughs> I'm a whisk taker. Indeed, indeed. That's good. I like that. All right. Uh, shall we save that. these for banana bacon? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're going to put this in. <laughs> Guys, if you have just joined, this is Bosch Live. I'm Henry. Ian's cooking. He is baking banana bread blondies. And, uh, you know, we're about 10 minutes in. Ah, and we're, we're, we're flying, man. Flying it's good. Good. So, um, as you can see, on my right, you have got wet ingredients. On, on my left, you have got dry ingredients. And now what we're going to do is mix the two together. So, top cam, let's have a gander. Do do. You like the sound effects? Oh, I know you do. Oh, there we go. I know you do. Right, so there we go. You could have gone either way. I chose that way. <laughs> um, and now, do you have more funny than usual tonight? Oh well. Why so, is that? I don't know. It's because, oh, do you know what? I had like, um, so this was a can of beer and I had that much. I'm quite a lightweight. <laughs> like, like a third of a can of beer. A third of a can of beer. But it's the sun is shining, it's bank holiday, it's bank all holiday. nice vibes. Right, so um, wet and dry come together to form a wonderful, delightful, gorgeous batter. Right, and it's going to take a little while. You'll see it here. It's just going to, it, it kind of, it doesn't look like it wants to bind. Everything is just becoming a bit messy. And then all of a sudden, what happens is this. It just comes together and the wet meets the dry and you're left with a perfect brownie or no, actually in this case, blondie batter. Oh man, it's really good. Look at that. That's good, huh? Absolutely incredible. That's right. gorgeous. So that we are. Right, so uh, if uh, let me tell you right now. Oh look, there was a little bit of flour on the bottom there. You want to make sure that all the flour... This is why this is a really good uh, implement, this um, this silicon spatula. It's like, it's really... Uh, in fact, if you pull... There you go. Yeah, drop take, top cam. Yeah, no side cam. And I'll just... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we are, back in the shot. So yeah, the silicon um, spatula is just like... it's It's got like a good... It's kind of like a malleable object. So it, it works really beautifully. So I'm just going to finish that off because that is exactly the texture that we're after. Now you could just bake that off right now, but we're not gonna because we're gonna go all in. All in. All in, mate. Yeah. I'm loving how quickly you're whizzing through this. Whizzing, whizzing, whizzing through, whizzing through. <laughs> right, so remember these from earlier on, these are our roasted almonds, and just give that a taste, one of them, just a little one. Like, I can tell you right now, mm. Roasting nuts is just, it sort of activates all the oils inside the nut. It's just and that little bit richer. It mm. almost tastes like, um, you know, some kind of, well, dry roasted nuts. Yeah. <laughs> kind of makes sense. So our housemate, Bodyweight D, who isn't in the house right now, um, he's, um, he, um, he has this on his porridge all the time, but he needs to roast the oats. So Darren, if you're watching the, the recording of this, roast your oats, mate. He's, a, he's only upstairs. Well, uh, Darren, did you hear that? Oh no, he's not upstairs, no. is he? Okay. He's got, he's, yeah, he's, ro he's rolled out. Anyway, um, so I'm going to put three quarters of this in there. So here we go. So three quarters. You see this? Nice and shake it in, shake it in yeah. nicely. That's really good. And I've got this many left. Okay, let's see that. I'm going to pull that away. Okay, big up. This one, right? This is going to make it very good. This is going to make it even better than good. It's going to make it bloody brilliant. Uh, these are uh, 100 grams of dark chocolate. I went for the posh stuff. I went for 80 gram pure cocoa. And this is going into the bowl. Okay. I've broken it up with a knife. Some big bits, some little bits, because you would want to keep your um, mouth and anyone who's eaten this guessing. I guess you could do things like Oreos. Oh. Or, you know what I mean? You can yeah. even like biscuit. It's like... Oh man, you could properly pimp this out. A biscuit blondie. Makes sense to Jesus. me. Jesus, yes man. G ginger nut biscuits in a blondie would be a massive win. 100%.
And talking about biscuits, if you're talking about biscuits, which we are now talking about biscuits, and we're talking about cakes and biscuits and cakes and biscuits, tomorrow, Biscoff. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Biscoff coffee cake for the win. You're going to love it. 100%. And and um, Henry's making it up, so it's going to be it's going to be just big and unctuous and wonderful, and it's going to put even more spots on my nose. <laughs> this stuff doesn't eat itself, you know. Anyway, right. So enough fifth half, fifth half chit chat. Uh, can I just interject? Yes. We had a quick question. Uh -huh. um, so someone was talking about why are we using both ba baking powder and bicarbonate soda? Um, you know, without getting too chemically and technically there's some kind of neutralization of the acids that's going to happen in there but you know what when we write these books we will tend to go through about five to ten tests of every single recipe and if we're not getting it fluffy enough we might play around with a bit of bicarb a bit of baking powder maybe some vinegar so really this is the best results that we got more fluffy perfect mm -hmm. Exactly, and uh, trust me, it real works. And you're going to love this if you're making it. Now, what we need to do now is um, we need to bring everything together with this silicon spatula. So let's go top cam. Should we go top cam? Top yeah. Oh, in fact, do you know what? Uh, because this is an important scene, I'm actually going to change the camera angle on side cam. Okay. If you've just joined, this is Bosch Live. I'm Henry. I'm sat here with the buttons controlling the cameras that you're watching right now. We're in our living room. Well, actually, it's kind of more like a kitchen. Um, that's Ian. Hello! <laughs> and uh, we're with you for the next 20 minutes baking, as we've been doing all week, every weeknight. Yeah, man. We're also doing something special later, aren't we, Ian? Yeah, we're heading over to Twitch for Bosch Lounge, baby. What happens in Bosch Lounge? Oh, uh, Bosch Lounge. Well, we're just going to play some tunes for you guys. Uh, we've bought a bunch of new tunes. We're going to spin it on decks over there. In fact, we're going to pull the decks out. We're going to bring them over here. And then we're going to switch on all the cameras and we're going to get the smoke machine going and it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you want to hang out and listen to some music while you cook with some, like, late night FM DJ voices. Oh my They've God. come over to twitch.tv slash Bosch Live immediately after this. In fact, we've already broadcasting on Twitch uh, right now. Right now. Hello Twitch, if you're watching. <laughs> right, uh, so top gap. Uh, oh, there we go. Right, so I'm going to go top and then we're going to go side and it's going to be unbelievable. Yeah? Look at this. Oh, man, oh my God. So the chocolate and the nuts are coming together with the banana and the sugar and the baking powder and bicarbonate soda and everything else that's in there. And what we've got now is a, um, a cake batter that has texture and it's got attitude and it's got just deliciousness. Deliciousness. Just deliciousness. Ian, I, I just had an update from uh, Kathy. Oh yeah, what is it? Apparently we have 270 people watching on Twitch. Hello! Twitch, thank you very much for tuning in yes. and stick with us because later we're going to be playing tunes for you guys wow, too. That's amazing. I mean, yeah. we don't have that many followers on Twitch, so thank you and welcome to all of you. Do do like, do subscribe. We make food videos like this every single day on Facebook and YouTube, and now we're just trying out Twitch. Boom! Right, wicked. So here we go. If we go top cam, because this is now finished, I'm going to finish that spurt stir off. I'm going to go up, and then we're going to go out. Ooh, boom. Smooth. So Kat, I know that you're buzzing. You're like, yes, I've got a wicked easy transition. That is for, uh, we're going to chop this up and put this on our Facebook and Instagram. So that'll make a really nice video. And so you can watch this recipe back at a later date if you so choose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it, now what we've got here is a 30 centimeter by 20 centimeter baking tray, which has been lined with parchment paper. And this kind of fluffy bit here, this is a little trick that we picked up. Um, I think it was from Prue Leaf which is basically a little bit of water helps it stick to the bottom and it's really actually a very, very good trick. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this batter, all right? In fact, now I'm gonna get that side cam. <laughs> you can always tell me to do these things, you know? No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't mind me, I've lost around. Um, guys, do leave your comments, Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook. Um, do drop any comments in there. We have producer Kathy in my ear who will be feeding me occasional questions and we'll do a little Q&A at the end as well. So. Um, do let us know what you're thinking. It's gonna be good. Okay, so here we go. There's the bowl that we had before. It's going back into shop. And then we are going to just literally just pour all of this lovely batter, the textured wonder, into our tin. Okay, and we're just gonna scrape it all out, making sure that everything's getting in there. And it, as you can see, it looks like there isn't loads and loads of batter, right? But don't worry about that because, um, the reason why you don't have to worry is because of those baking soda and bicarbonate of soda is going to help everything fluff up and it's become a lovely, lovely fluffy kind of cake. So that is done. 
Ja. Så hvad er det fluffers? The fool. Um, Fluff my lions, goddammit. Uh, uh, we've been asked about these. Sorry to interrupt. No, sorry. Uh, we've been asked about if these cakes that we're baking are on the websites. Uh, these cakes that we are baking are definitely on the website. Now there is a full RV, which is a recipe video on the website, but all of the ingredients that you need are also on the website too. So that answers the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Now, um, as you can see, it's quite thick, this batter. So you need to sort of like manipulate it into the corners with your spatula or your knife or your spoon or whatever you're using. Okay? Just make sure it gets all the way into the sides. And you, you are going to be like, goodness, it's going to be like as flat as a pancake, but it isn't. It's going to be all good. Trust me. My doctor. I guess we got the uh, extra rise in there, didn't we? It, yeah. We all did. All action, mate. All that rise, man. This is all in the rise. So check it out. So this is good. So we've got some nice kind of lines forming and just nice sort of even coverage across the top is what we're after. You just know by looking at this, it's going to be delicious. Isn't it? Oh man, I can't wait. So, no, I can't wait either. Right, so the next sort of thing that we're going to finish um, is we are going to decorate the top a little bit. So we need this that was we had before that's going to come back into play. This is the peanut butter that we had earlier on. So that's the leftover. So now we're just going to sort of get it all onto one spoon and then we're just going to sort of just slop it on. Persuade it on. Yeah. But, persuade it. Yeah, not, not slop. <laughs> that's probably the wrong word. But yeah, we're just going to persuade it over. Encourage. We're just going to like, make sure that every sort of little slice will get a little bit of hint of the peanut butter. Um, and it's also the oils in the peanut butter makes it kind of melt out into the body of the of the of the blondie, which is great. So that's that there. And now, here are the rest of those um, almonds that we had before. Top gam. Top gam. Sorry. So they're they're the almonds that we had before. Um, and now we're just going to sprinkle them over. Okay. And this is just going to give really nice texture, and it's going to roast them even more to eke out even more oils from the lovely nuts. And um, yeah, look at that. It just looks incredible, eh? Perfect. Now, we could finish there, but we're not gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna finish there. No way. Check uh, this out. What could be next? What could be what next? What could be next? So, I've actually done a little bit of pre-preparation on the side. Check it out. Okay, so these are bananas. And as you can see, I've chopped them long ways and then chopped them in half. And what we're gonna do with these is this. Okay? We're just gonna stick it in there. Man, this is literally like watching a Bosch video. It's, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Pre-recorded one, but it's done live. It's so good. Can't and also, what's going to be cool here is because I'm moving my hand out of every shot. It's when got stop motion. Stop motion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very good, you know. Kathy's going to love it. She's going to love it. And also, right, so that, there we go. And we could finish there. But we're not going to. But we're not going to. Right, so this is brown cane sugar, right? It's light cane sugar. And what we're gonna do, quite simply, just to caramelize those bananas, we're just gonna mash this up, because again, it's been sat there for about half an hour and it's dried out a bit. But what we're gonna do is just sprinkle over a little bit of um, brown sugar over every banana. So when it's in the oven, that brown sugar will melt, caramelize, and make those bananas even more delicious. I love a banana. This is proper special. This is, a, this is a bloody good recipe, yeah, this. Yeah, this is, a, I would say this is like one of our finest. Yeah, I, and also, do you know another thing about this? It's like, like, you know social media, you're on it right now watching us on social media, so you know damn well that like banana bread has been doing the rounds, it's been going all in, like everyone's going wild for banana bread, and I'm like, well, I think this is, this top, this is the one. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is like banana bread. Heaven. Completed it, mate. Yeah, this is it. Right, so I'm just gonna fin it. Right, so just for the for the purpose of the video, we're gonna go top cam, and I'm just gonna f pretend to finish this off. Boom. I'm gonna put this to one side, and then I'm gonna go up and out to expose the end shot. Nice. Boom. Smooth. You know that. Um, if any of you are wondering, this recipe is it is on the website for free, so you can just go to Bosch.tv and find everything. All of these recipes from this week. This is the banana bread blondies. That's your search term. It is also in our second book, Bish Bash Bosch. That's it. If you want to, if you have that already and you want to find it, it's there. Or if you want to grab a copy, um, by all means do. We'd be very grateful. And also, if you are in the banana bread vibe, we have an epic banana bread recipe 
that's in the Bosch cookbook. So that was our first cookbook. Yeah. That, I mean, that is just incredible. And with that, if you spread over peanut butter onto a slice of that banana bread, you're in a very special place. You're probably going to be lying down on the sofa for a little bit after eating that, but you'll really enjoy the meal. Um, so thank you for being with us again. This is Bosch Live. We're 25 minutes in. Ian's got five minutes left to finish uh, uh, his banana bread flonnies. I'm sure he's going to succeed. Yeah. Producer Kathy's in my ear, so do let us know a few questions. We might even have a moment for a question now, if you have any. Kathy? Yeah, it's a good show. Come on. Say that again, sorry? <laughs> nice, okay. So what is the best hangover food for after Bosch Lounge? Well, I would say a big boshy breakfast. You know what I mean? A big English breakfast with vegan sausages. Do you know what I love? I love those Beyond sausages. Like if you can get hold of them, you're in a great place. And all the trimmings. So again, in book one, we've got hash browns. If you can be bothered to make those hash browns, they add so much more to that breakfast. And then I would also put in there lashings of brown sauce. Oh, brown? I'm so grateful brown sauce is vegan. Brown sauce? Oh, is that? <laughs> no, that's not brown sauce. It's not, bra it's not brown sauce per se, but Perfect. it is a brown sauce. It's a brown sauce. That's great. Uh, perfect. It was just works perfectly. And if we head over to side cam, boom, there we go. So this is um, as it looks like after it's been in the oven for a while. Um, it's, as you can see, it's got really nice kind of um, sort of tan color to it. It looks amazing. Um, and this, is melted chocolate. Now you had 25 grams of it. Uh, it. I went for the really good quality dark stuff and, um, and I've melted it in the microwave and now what we're going to do is we're going to drizzle it over this. So I'm going to do that on the side cam. Cool? Side cam check. Side cam check. This is going to look incredible. This is those like, these little finishing moments, if you've been watching a few of our shows, you'll notice they're always where it goes from like, yeah I made a cake to Oh, that looks like something pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, like this. It just shows it really takes, it makes it worth it going that extra mile. It really does. And also, I mean, if you've got those little chocolate ch chunks inside and you've got the banana and it's sort of like <laughs> this kind of banana, this chocolate drizzle just works so well with it right at the end. There we go. Wow. Okay. So that is it looking. Look, look, I mean, it just looks amazing. Should we put it into the top cam so we can see the top yeah, cam? Yeah, you want to carry it up. There we go, there boom. We go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a look at how close, oh, it, man. look at nice. how good. So what I'll do now, I'm just, do I'm just gonna do a little one of these. Watch, watch this guys, Prep watch move. this. Wow. That's a smooth push. Why are you whistling Godfather? <laughs> because of the Godfather, look, it's the Godfather of all cakes. Come on. Here we go, here we go. Oh, look at it, oh, banana bread for the win. Nice. The winner. Right, now. I'm going to pull this up so we can just get there right out and boomer. That is a beautiful thing and we need to chop it now. Yeah? Sounds good. If you did want to uh, freestyle with your nut selection, guys, we just heard the question in our ear. Um, we would absolutely recommend playing around with the chopped nuts that you use. It shouldn't matter too much what nuts go in. Obviously, if you're allergic to nuts, be super careful. Peanut butter would work. Almond butter would work. Biscoff might work. Mm. Um, you kind of need something that's thick and spready uh, like the peanut butter. Oh yes, that's correct. And this is a great thing. This is a sharp knife and I'm just going to go in. Should we go top cam for the first bit and then side cam for when it goes in? Mm -hmm. Okay, three, two, one, and so that. Oh, nice cut there. That's a good one. And then I'm going to go on this side. You're taking this very seriously. Yeah, I think this is a good one. I think this is a viral banger. Oh yeah? Yeah, this is this has got legs this has. Okay. Right. <laughs> good. Right, good. And you like a viral banger. Now we just need to tuck this in. Right. And now I'm just gonna do something cheeky. Okay, what's he gonna do? I wonder. I'm just gonna do something fairly cheeky. Um, thank you for hanging out with us guys, it's nearly half past. Um, if you haven't subscribed already or liked, uh, whether you're on Twitch, Facebook or YouTube, please do. We're making videos like this Monday to Friday, 6pm, every single day. And I guess we'll do it on Twitch from now on. Yeah, why not? Yeah. I mean, if there's that many people, hello Twitch, thank you very much for coming. <laughs> yes. um, and not every day do we make cakes, this has just been cake week. But next week we have picked a theme. Oh yes? 
the theme is eating the rainbow. Yes, it is. Right? Mm. So it's all healthy, it's all plant-based, um, but it's gonna like make you feel good from the inside and maybe counteract all the cakes we ate this week. Okay, and full disclosure, complete honesty, you are our family, you're in our house with us. The reason why we have picked healthy, super eat the rainbow vibes is because we've been eating cake all week. <laughs> so we need something good for us, god damn it. Right then, so I've, uh, I've adjusted the camera on side. Doo -doo. Watch this, watch this guys, watch this. Oh my days, oh my days. Oh, oh my days. Uh, Should we do it one more time? Yeah, we've got to get one more then. Okay, come. Right, three, two, one, and. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Beauty. <laughs> yes, now, look at this on top cam. Oh, Jesus. Give look at up. him. Ta da! And pull out. Lovely. Beautiful. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna put it back on the board, right? And then we're gonna chop this little slice into a, a couple of bits so we can just taste it, yeah? So that's bang, and it's bang, and I'll do one more for the win. Boom. Bang. Good, Good work. Shall we have a little Absolutely. nibble? Absolutely, I'm so ready for this. You've made me wait. Oh, it looks incredible, dude. Well done. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with this. I think it's a goodie. Wow. And it's kind of got a really rustic nature. Look, I mean, just look at the way it is in the middle, okay? We called it banana bread. Come on, find the focus. There we go. Close your eyes. Come on. No, it's, ah, it's not got our faces. It's so annoying. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it feels nice. It's got that good chocolate on the inside. It's got those nuts on the inside. Obviously, it's got loads of banana. That is a damn fine piece of cake. Beautiful. Shall we nibble, nibble? My favorite piece is the bananas on top. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Well done, Ian. Mm. MJ! Mm. MJ! Mm. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, man. Wow. It's bananas. Maybe it's nuts. <laughs> wow. I mean, that is a really beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's beautiful to look at. Beautiful to taste. Are you talking about me? Hello. <laughs> uh, this is my fiance MJ. Uh, if you are wondering, we do all live together with social distancing. Say hello. Uh, Twitch is here as well. Hi, hello. Twitch. All right, Twitch. How's it going? Twitch in the camera. Or? Uh, yeah, Twitch is in the camera. They're all in the camera. Yeah. Would you like to try the banana? Would I? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? MJ. Oh, MJZ. Who could not like bananas? Well, exactly. Actually, our friend Luke. Oh, he doesn't like bananas. Doesn't like bananas. bananas. No. <laughs> you might remember yeah. Luke from Living on the Veg. Yes, mm. he was uh, one of the chefs that came to join us. He's a mate. Join us. Join us. Yeah. He's a mate, and he doesn't like ripe bananas. But he's <laughs> all right with hard bananas. Mad. That's delicious. What do you yeah. think? Healthy, isn't it? Because it's bananas. Well, it's, it's kind of healthy. -ish. Healthy -ish. Like yeah. the carrot cake. Yeah. yeah. But it's absolutely amazing. Mm. Excellent. Twelve. Oh, that's 12, 12 points. That's the biggest, this, the, the biggest number we've ever received. Well, I'm giving you 13. <laughs> Boom! Oh. Hey. Well done, E. That was incredible. Thank yeah, you. we enjoyed that, man. You're that welcome. Fun. Are you hanging okay. around for Boss Lounge? Uh, yeah. Yep, yeah, she'll be here for Boss Lounge. I'm making a curry. She's making a curry oh, in the background man. while we play oh, music. Um, so let's do a couple of questions. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely smashed the banana bread blondies. I thought it was a goodie, yeah. yeah. Um, guys, yeah, it was a, a, a big pleasure. I think um, we were both you know, enjoying it tonight because it's back holiday. Woohoo! Woo! Question, have you eaten all the cakes from this week? We have um, not eaten every single one. However, we have uh, nibbled a fair old few. Uh, but the neighbours are happy people right now. Yes, they are, yeah. And um, also, we, we sent some out in a yeah. courier, contact-free, um, to some friends around London as well. And we will be sending some to a hospital uh, over the weekend as well. So um, lots of cakes have been made and lots of cakes are getting distributed. But I have eaten more than I care to admit. Yeah, I know. I'm looking forward to Rainbow Week, man. Yeah, Rainbow Week's <laughs> going to be good. It's going to be a goodie. Um, for the person who just asked, or people who just asked, Bosch Lounge tonight, is as well as Boss Lounge tomorrow. So there will yeah. be a back-to-back -back bank holiday Boss Lounge tomorrow as well, Friday night. Thursday night, Friday night. We like hanging out with you. Yeah, why not? I mean, like, yeah. literally, we thought, should we just do it tonight as well? We're like, yeah. All right, let's do it. Yes. So yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. This is the beautiful thing about this. This is like, obviously it's quarantine. We're kind of making the best out of a weird situation. And we hope that you enjoyed it. If you are, let us know below. And with that, we will say, 
Well, let me take one more look at this absolutely incredible uh, okay. cake I, I, I know, I know, that Ian just I know, made. Oh, you want one more shot, yeah? No, no, wait, wait, wait. Right, so oh, he's gonna go, go in. That. We're gonna, I'm gonna do a pan. Oh, okay. nice. Go on, gonna, do a pan. I'm gonna do a pan shot. Right, check this out, guys. There you da, have it. Da, 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 the most beautiful da, 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 banana-y da, 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 cake we've ever seen. Da, 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 perfect for Bosch. Perfect for eating. Oh, and that is our boss lounge. Ah. Now, what a weird ending. <laughs> right, um, we're going to see you all later. Do subscribe and like if you're not already. Thanks for hanging out with us on Facebook and YouTube. And we'll see you tomorrow for another boss live. We'll be baking tomorrow the Biscoff coffee cake. But if you're hanging around with us on Twitch, or if you want to come and hang out with us on Twitch, www.twitch.tv slash boss live. So that's www.twitch.tv slash boss live or just search for the user Boss Live. We are going straight onto Twitch and we're gonna play some music for the next two hours. And uh, one more thing, little, little, nice, nice thing. Okay, so we've got this new book coming out in September, it's called Speedy, and okay. next week, we are going to be cooking one of the recipes from Speedy Bosch. Oh yeah? Yes, it's gonna be the breakfast hash tacos, and you know what? It's <laughs> gonna be the first time you ever see them, so definitely tune in. Big love to all of you. See some of you soon on Twitch. See the rest of you hopefully tomorrow. Big love to you all. Stay safe. Goodbye. Farewell. Auf Wiedersehen. Hurrah.